Welcome to the tutorial for Errol Singer Studio. This is a fun new app that helps you improve your singing. With regular practice, it can help you improve your pitch, which means singing in tune, breathing, improve the quality of your tone, and help you access more of your range, your highs and lows. So when you open the app, it takes you to a page called My Vocal Range. And this is where you get to pick your highs and lows that you're gonna be singing on. You wanna pick a range that's comfortable for yourself. You don't wanna do any straining for your voice. If you know what your range is, you can choose one of those. If you don't know, you could choose one of the ranges that are generally male over here or generally female and try that out. You can always um, expand it or shrink it if it's too high or too low for you. And if you'd like to, you can also let the app choose your range for you with automatic detection with a double tap. So I'm gonna sing a low note and a high note. Oh, it picked it already. Uh, uh, uh. So that's probably a comfortable place I would wanna sing. Then from there, you would move on to the training section so when you're using the app on your own, you can go through the introduction, the orientation section. We won't do all that today though. So good singing always starts with good breathing. So first of all, you wanna visit the breathing essentials page and there's lots of voice exercises here you can practice to help your breathing improve for your singing. You can look at the animations for posture. It shows you what to do and what not to do as well as how to use your diaphragm for breathing. After that, there's lots of different breathing exercises to get you started with really learning how your breath helps support your voice. I'll try one here. When you open the page, on the lesson it has an I, and that's where the instructions are. So it's really important to read the instructions each time you try a new exercise. These show you your technique and what to do. Then there's a male example and a female example. You can take your pick. When you're ready, you press the play button and try it yourself. And for this one, you just hold it as long as you can and then stop the timer. After you've gone through the breathing lessons, then you can go to beginner program one. And this has um, some warm-ups, some exercises to help you develop your skills, as well as cool-downs. Each section has their own variations on these. We're gonna go to the eye to look at the instructions. And then it's your turn. And the screen shows you about where your notes are. So let's try a singing lesson, a singing exercise in the beginner program one, three note la. Go to the instructions information page. You'd read the instructions and then you can listen to the male or female example. Let's try the female example. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. You can also click on the male and female examples from these icons here. And then it's your turn to sing whenever you're ready. La 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 So you can see as I'm singing it, there's a little white line that goes through the bubbles and that's your pitch. That's the notes you're actually singing. The blue bubbles turn green when you hit them. top here as you sing. These different tips follow the pattern on screen. These different tips pop up as you're singing. These are from the instructions. These help you remember your good technique as you're singing. La, 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 la. After you're done singing, some percentages show up on the bubbles and they show you how accurate you are with hitting the notes. And you know, 50 to 70% is actually really good, so it's important not to um, obsess over that. Right now the scores are a little low because I was talking through the lesson.
So the next section is exploring head and chest voice. Now this whole area helps you develop your range and helps you use your high notes and your low notes more effectively, as well as tying them together. Singers always want to aim for easier registration between their chest voice and their head voice. So this whole area helps you do that. Intermediate program also has warm-ups, lessons, and cool-downs. We'll try one of the lessons from the intermediate program. After we go to the information page, we read the instructions, and then we can listen to the male or the female example. Ma, ma, ma. When you're ready, you can try it yourself. On some of the exercises, when you hit the top of the range that you chose for yourself, then it will repeat itself and then it will start to come back down. I can see that I'm dipping in to the beginning of the note. I can work on that a little bit. off it might look like this the beginner program the intermediate program and the advanced program all contain cool down lessons as well these help your voice relax after you've had a bit of a vocal workout. We'll listen to the example first. When you're ready to take your turn, you can press play. I've reduced the range a little bit for this to keep the demo shorter. So once you've gone through the introduction, the breathing, beginner program one, head and chest voice, intermediate program, you can try the advanced program. You want to make sure you don't really tackle this one until the other ones are easy for you. As you can see, we've got a breathing lesson, some warm-ups, and some more complex lessons that use uh, more complicated scales with more range, as well as a cool down. So let's try the Layla pattern. We go to the information page. And then we click on one of the examples. Okay, I'll just cut that short and move on. So when you're ready, you press play. Layla, 
So remember that you don't have to have 100% perfect on your percentages to still sound good. Anything above 50 or 60% is still going to sound to a listener like you're in tune. One of the really helpful features of this app is that you can actually practice the pattern from the lesson in various keys. You can break it down and try it um, in a specific part of your range. So I'm going to try singing along with that. So you can use that feature to practice if a certain part of your range is giving you um, difficulty. If it's hard to transition from chest voice to head voice, maybe you can practice that there. If I wanted to try it lower. Leila, Leila. If you're finding that you want to slow it down a little bit, you can do that too. You can slow it down or speed it up. Let's try it a little bit slower. Leila, Leila. This can be really helpful for practicing a difficult pattern. Let's try it faster. Leila, Leila. Doing it faster can help you with your agility. So the default here is to use the English note names on the side here. But if you live in a country that uses a fixed do system or solfege do re mi, then you can adjust that in the settings. You can adjust it to solfege or the scale degrees. So let's try it on the solfege. You can see now the note names are displayed in solfege. So now let's look at another really neat feature of the app. For that, we'll go back to the My Range page. So as you can see, um, it shows the width of the, we like to call it the blob. The width of the blob shows your range and how high, how low you're hitting. And then the depth of the green color shows your accuracy. So down here at the bottom, it's not very accurate in that area, but this area is doing really well. So you can track that, it's dated as well. For this tutorial demonstration, we've been showing you the app on an iPad, but you can actually run the app on an iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone, and you have all the same features with any of the devices. So thank you for your interest in Errol Singer's Studio app, and we hope you enjoy having fun developing your singing. <laughs>